Hi, I'm Shiv Aglani. Thanks for checking out our Raise the Line interview series in which me and my co-host, Osmosis Chief Medical Officer, Dr. Rishi Desai, explore how to strengthen our healthcare system with some amazing leaders in medicine, technology, education, and government. And they have some great advice for people starting careers in healthcare as well. I hope you'll watch these highlights and then go listen to the full podcast interview wherever you get your podcasts. Hi, I'm Shiv Glani, and today on Raise the Line, I'm really happy to be joined by a longtime colleague, Dr. Shantanu Nandi. Dr. Nandi is the Chief Medical Officer at Accolade, which is a personalized health and benefit solution for employers, health plans, and their members. He's also a practicing physician and technologist with expertise blending medicine and innovation, along with deep knowledge of the healthcare industry and global health. How did you get interested in medicine? And then can you walk us through a bit of your career trajectory, blending both practice and uh, and, and, and now working at you know, one of the most successful healthcare companies. My parents aren't doctors or anything like that. You know, uh, I was sick a lot as a kid, so I was definitely interested. Um, but for me, my really formative experience was when I was in um, college, I used to spend my winter breaks. My family runs like a small nonprofit in India. And so I went to go teach English and uh, all my students there to me, you know, as a 17 year old seemed really sick. And so I ended up starting uh, a school-based uh, uh, healthcare program uh, for this small school, just just uh, a few hundred kids. And over time, with some support from my college, ended up setting up a clinic. And like, that was, it was pretty, uh, I think, magical for me, you know, this idea that, you know, uh, you could, uh, that doctors, you know, to see, it, see somebody for a few minutes, uh, can make them feel better, can solve their issues. Uh, and that was just deeply inspiring for me. So that, that's how I ended up in medicine. You know, given that our audience is primarily current and future healthcare professionals, and you are a healthcare professional, uh, what advice would you give them about meeting the challenges of the COVID pandemic and, and beyond? Well, first of all, super excited uh, that you guys are entering this amazing profession. You know, it's given me more personally than I could ever possibly give back. And I think my biggest, you know, two advice maybe is one is there's a time and a place for everything in your career. Learning the basics of basic science, you know, learning, you know, how to take a history from a patient, how to build trust with families. Those are really special moments. And I think as sort of an eager beaver, I was always trying to do the next thing and the next thing. And I think I wish I had gone back and really taken advantage of what medical training was at that moment in my training. And then the other one is a little bit counter to that, which is, you know, you do have to find the thing that, that, that fire, that spark for you right? Like for me, it might be building some stuff, whatever it is for you and finding outlets to carry that through. Like I used to give, I used to be much more cynical of my biggest advice to med students. I'd say like, what's my biggest advice? Should I study this? Should I do this? Should I do this for a day? So my biggest advice is don't change because for most people who go through traumatic school and training, they actually lose that spark. They lose the joy. They lose the purpose. And you have it right now, you know, as you start school, you have it. And you have to find a way to kind of in turn continue to renew, you know, that energy that you have. Because on the other side, when you have time and you have the expertise, like the world needs you. Thanks for watching this preview of Raise the Line. To hear the full interview, check out all of our podcasts and subscribe to the series. Please go to osmosis.org forward slash Raise the Line podcast or listen wherever you get your podcasts.